So um, next we're going to be moving on to your eye exam. Uh, first, just inspecting again, as we always start with inspections, inspecting your eyebrows and your eyelashes, uh, and then moving on to the internal structures, looking at your sclera, um, looking for color. It should be nice and white, shouldn't have any yellowing or jaundice. Pulling down slightly on your, on your um, lower eyelids, looking at your palpebral conjunctiva, looking again at the color. Um, shouldn't notice any pale, it shouldn't be pale, it should be nice and pink which yours is. Next I'm going to grab a light source here, in this case my um, otoscope, and going to just be taking a look at your lens and your pupil. Can look um, at the lighting obliquely to look for any foreign bodies. Again assessing for um, symmetry from one side to the next, looking for um, any color differences or any foreign bodies. While my pen light's out, I'm going to step back and shine my light um, at your eyes and have you look directly into the light. And I'm looking for the reflex in your, um, in your pupils. The, the light reflection from this uh, light source should be slightly nasal on both sides and should be uh, symmetrical on both sides, which yours is. Um, while my pen light's out, I'm also going to take a look at your pupils, looking for your pupillary responses, making sure that they are equally round and reactive to light, both direct light and consensual light. So you shine your light into the right eye, or your left eye, and the left eye pupil should constrict. Shine the light into your left eye again, and the right pupil should constrict. And then shine the light into your, your right eye, and the left pupil should, could, should constrict. Shine the light into your right eye again, and the right pupil should constrict. That's direct and consensual uh, light reaction. I'm done with my little pen light. Next, I'm going to check your visual fields. First, I'm going to check uh, your peripheral vision. This is done by confronta confront confrontation testing. Uh, I'm going to get somewhat close to you and then put my hands on the side of your, your face. And then tell me when you can see my hands. Just look directly into my eyes or directly at my nose and tell me when you can see my fingers. No. Good. And then I'm switching, I'm switching and uh, moving my fingers uh, my hands to her superior and, and posterior view. So tell me again when you can see. No. Good. No. Very good. So your peripheral view is intact. The next uh, thing I'm going to test is uh, the six cardinal views of gaze. This tests your extraocular muscles and your extraocular movement. So just follow my finger and we're going to test the six different cardinal views. So out, lateral, high and low back to midline, back to middle, across her view, a high and low, back to midline and back to the middle. At this point, I'm gonna ask you to follow my finger in as I um, bring it towards the bridge of your nose. While you do this, you're looking, for, uh, you're looking for convergence that her eyes will converge and follow your finger to within five to about 15 centimeters. Good. I'm also looking at the same time that her pupils constrict. If you can't see that, you can do what's called a near test uh, in which I'll have you look at my finger and then look at an object far in the distance. Good, and then back at my finger and then far. And her eyes should, her pupils should constrict with near effort. So you'll see that her pupils get smaller when she looks at my finger and then they expand when she looks away or dilate when they look away.